Hey, we're two fat guys still. Yeah, so we just watched um, Captain America. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's that's about what you get after watching this movie. It's been a long night. It's twelve. It's twelve or nine in the a.m. It's the a.m. version of that time. Uh, so it was a long last night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we watched Captain America, uh, the the nineteen ninety movie, which was had a weird release. Mm-hmm. So it it was supposed to come out uh, summer of nineteen ninety. And to coincide with the 50th year anniversary of, of Captain America. And they were like, put up these posters in theaters and put out teaser trailers. And then they're like, all right, it's going to come out in 1990. Oh, all right, we're going to move it to later in 1990. And then, uh, okay, early 91. Okay, like summer 91. Mm-hmm. And then eventually it just kind of got put out direct to video in 1992. Because like, it's bad. Yeah. It's just real bad. I believe it's because, like, uh, like Batman came out and showed, like, okay, this is kind of how superhero movies are supposed to be, quality-wise. Or any movie came out and they realized, yeah. oh, this is how movies work. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, God, we can't put this out, can they sh- we? They shouldn't have. Well, they tried. They, they put it and they had a test audience, and then the test audience demanded more action, I guess. Then they went and put in more stunts. More quick shots of hands and... <laughs> things exploding. I do, I do, like, explosions in general, but... Not when then they'd come at just when someone throws a shield at something and it bursts into flames. Yeah, it was a lot of the things that I was afraid that the 2011 would be. In that, uh, it starts in World War II with the World War II Captain America, and that that's in like 20 minutes he's frozen. Like, yeah, the, that went super fast. They go like super fast from. Well, yeah, it opens in like 1930s Italy. And we yeah. see Red Skull get made. Like, all right, now we're at two minutes. Mm. Although, and although somehow they still, even though it all happens really quick, they still manage to have this section in the beginning when he's like at his family's house and talking to his girlfriend. That felt like it was just doing nothing. Yeah. So it felt like the old Captain America film <laughs> yeah. that we've known to <laughs> grown to love over these past few days. Uh, uh, but then, yeah, he's, he's he goes on like one mission by himself for some reason in a random location to stop some undefined missile. Yeah, and there's no like training sequence. Like he he. Gets pumped full of the serum mm-hmm. and gets shot right away, and then it cuts to him in, in the, the hospital, hospital, and they're like, "Oh, he just did surgery. It'll be a while before he's back on his feet." And like, look over, and he's standing there, like, "I'm ready, sir." Mm-hmm. And then cuts you in the airplane, about to get dropped off for the mission. And he's yeah. like, "I don't have training. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I wearing this dumb outfit?" They put Red Skull on this one, so at least that's a thing. Yeah. But they don't establish any sort of relationship between the two of them. Like, when, when Captain America shows up for his mission, Red Skull's there, and he's like, ah, my American counterpart, and he hates him already. And there's there's no... You know, you know all the good stuff from 2011, Captain America? It's it's the opposite of that. Yeah, it, like, but that was, I think, that it's the movie's biggest drawback is that it covered a lot of the same plot points as the 2011 one. Mm, oh, and just, yeah, it just made us go, oh, man, what... That... They did it bad. And I'm like, man, the 2011 movie is really good, mm-hmm. and they they hit all of those notes. How you should make things work. Yeah, even even going past the the sort of bad effects and the and the, you know, the poor quality of it. Yeah, which you'll get it the, in 1990. The uh, you know sometimes questionable acting. Uh, it's just they don't know how to, they didn't know how to structure a film. It's it, it's an almost unforgivable thing in any sort of genre, any sort of film you watch. It can only be so good if there's no structure to it. Um, but man, it tried. It tried to be a thing. It, which, yeah, it's one thing I said is that it seemed like the 1970s Captain Americas didn't try hard enough. Like, they're just like, oh, we have this property and let's. I have this story, let's make Captain America be the hero of it, mm. I guess. And we'll shoehorn him in when we can. And then this is. Then they just tried to jam too much stuff in there, and in that, it lost everything. Yeah. Like. They tried to have all these specific like beats that it wanted to hit, but then there's no through line. Like there's no, there's yeah, there's really no time to develop any sort of connections between the characters at all. I think we both found that like by the end we just didn't care. We <laughs> we were looking up list of DC films when we do this for the Dark Knight Rises because <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's, it's especially when we saw the imprint films and it oh was yeah, like Red, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Stardust, yeah, 300, 300, yeah, like okay. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. 
Um, I mean, who doesn't watch the Adamus Batman movie? No, oh, man, I, I don't, I don't think I do, but I will. <laughs> see, see, yeah, moral of the story, um, even though the, the 70s Captain America is kind of bad, I, I could see this getting the lowest star rating. Yeah, like, cause this, it's almost like, it's almost like you had, you had elements, like you bought costumes and you had people there to make something that could have been an okay movie and you just sort of refused to do so. Yeah, they, they, they failed at it. Mm-hmm. Pretty spectacularly. Um, yeah, and it's weird because even though I found the '70s ones not really enjoyable and they never really hooked me, I still felt more engaged than I did when I watched this one. Yeah, although um, it, it's a little bittersweet to see this is this is the last we'll see of Captain America until May May third. Yeah, unless we unless we decide we really hate ourselves and watch the serial. Oh, there's a serial. That's right. That I think we need to watch, but kind of oh, don't. God, I don't. It's four hours. 15 I'm putting chapters. my brain through a lot for this marathon. Yeah, you know, this is this is this is now Brandon talking. Trust me. <laughs> by the time we're watching Ang Lee's Hawk, I'll be like, "What serial? I didn't see it." And it'll be deleted off your hard drive. You'll go, "I, I thought I had that in there." Yeah, nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Oh. Nothing, that's not even there. I will have edited the Wikipedia page. <laughs> it will be gone from the internet. Uh, this video will be the only record of it. Um, yeah, the serial that they did is it's four hours long because it's 15 minute chapters because apparently that's how they did things in the 40s. It's about the quality you'd expect for a bootleg from the 40s in yeah, theaters. To yeah, be- it looks like someone took a 1940s camera in a 1940s theater and just like the usher walks in and they quick de- like collapse everything down. Like it um, it is is a very joke. bad quality, and I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit of a snob. Well, um... Also, I was, you know, born in the 80s. <laughs> Trying to watch a, mm-hmm. something with that quality is, is very difficult for my brain. That's true. Well, saying goodbye to Captain America, next time, we don't know if we're going to watch tomorrow or Saturday, next time we watch, we'll be yep. saying goodbye to Punisher. We have yeah, a, we got... A Punisher sandwich. <laughs> we have the Punisher... Punisher from 90... 90- no, 2004. 2004. Yeah, 2004. With then Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., which, the, which is... 98 TV eh. movie with David Hasselhoff as Nick Fury, which, which everyone is excited about. I mean, he looks like the character. You can't you can't take that away from him. Yeah, but like, I feel he... He looks like the traditional Nick Fury guy. But I think he's going to open his mouth, which is the real problem. Oh, you think? Them. You think they're going to have him do dialogue? Also, also I, I read, because Wikipedia is the thing, Dum Dum Dugan's in it. No bowler hat, no mustache. Useless. That's not. That's not even Dumbo Dugan. That's, that's that's soldier number four. That oh man, that's what you shouldn't have told me that. Now I'm just sad. I'm no, excited sad. for this movie. So then the sandwich is obviously followed yeah, up by the the Punisher, Punisher War Zone Warzo. with the different Punisher, and I don't know if the plot continues. I don't really don't know anything about the Punisher. Which one Warzo. is John Travolta in? I think Punisher. I think the okay the first yeah I'm pretty sure the first one because I saw the first one and it was that's probably why I didn't see the first one a lot of people said the first one was okay and I heard John Travolta was in it and I passed John Travolta is also in Pulp Fiction yeah but so was Samuel Jackson and that makes up for it is Samuel Jackson in Punisher probably he's in everything so join us next week for Samuel Jackson in Punisher.